Hey there, hope you're doing excellent. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to speed up or slow down an audio clip in Pro Tools or change uh, the duration of it. Um, so I've got, I'll show you an example with a music track. So let's consolidate this. Shift Option 3, I showed that in another tutorial. So let's say we want this audio track to be faster. Okay, the quick and dirty way to do that is if you go up to this little tool bar here and you select on this little drop down menu, you want to go to this TCE or time compression. And what that will allow you to do is drag the clip and speed it up. So now it's a lot faster. And here was slower, or the original speed. Now if we want to slow it down, you just do the opposite. Just like this. Now obviously you're hearing a lot of artifacts. Now uh, for most cases that works pretty well. If you're getting a lot of artifacts or you're not liking the sound of it, one thing you can do is if you go over here to the track, you can turn on elastic audio. So this will usually get you a little bit better results. Um, these settings uh, will differ depending on what you're trying to do. So this track is a polyphonic track. Uh, polyphonic meaning um, multiple voices. So it's got several instruments in it and it's got rhythms. So that would be your best bet. If it was just a uh, drum beat, you'd go with rhythmic. Monophonic would mean like it's a single instrument or a single voice. And uh, very speed is also one of the other algorithms. So you can try multiple ones to see which one works best. So I'm going to turn this elastic auto audio onto polyphonic. And it's going to render all the audio in that track. That was pretty quick. If you have more audio on that track, it's, it may take a little bit longer. And you'll know that it's turned on because you see this little green button over here and it says polyphonic. So now if you go to the same function, it's going to do it, but it's going to use this different um, format. So if we slow it down, still getting some artifacting. I did slow it down quite a bit. Let's try, um, Let's try Rhythmic. Or Very Speed. Ah, the Very Speed is going to actually slow it down as if it were tape. So it's going to actually change the pitch as well. So that's how you do it, folks. Um, not much more complicated than that. There are other third-party plugins. I mean, you could use Audio Suite plugins. You could use uh, Pitch and Time as one of the tried and true best plugins for pitching um, and changing time. But uh, this is the the built-in stock version of Pro Tools. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And if this was helpful to you, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, have a super duper duper good one wherever you are. Catch you on the next one. Take care.